I'm now joined by Heather Smith of Rock the Vote. Heather, it's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you. Uh, give me your reaction to the speech, just cold reaction. Sure, there was a lot of talk about the choice and distinguishing between them, but there was also an appeal to just go out and vote. And I thought that was really interesting, the, the case for democracy and citizenship that he was making. And at some point even said, I don't know who he votes for or, or even care. It's these people that are engaging and making this country their own that is powerful. And I think in many ways that speaks to the frustration that people are feeling with politics and trying to reinvigorate our democracy in a way that I found very, very different. You try and get people, young people, to get involved in voting. Do you think the president, when he talks about that, it matches up with their experience because we've seen in the studies that everybody is more polarized than ever. And so kind of the notion that I'm not sure which side they're on, it feels like everybody's on a side. Yeah, I think the thing that will resonate the most is how we started with the, the frustration you may feel, the disappointment that you may feel, but, it, but then addressing that by saying ultimately change doesn't happen unless you do something. And that kind of motivation and, and, and addressing of where they're at and then starting to address their issues will go a long way. So you heard them talk about the DREAM Act and the DREAMers multiple times. You heard them talk about education. And if he takes that message directly to young people, I think he'll have a really good shot of winning the youth vote again. Are those two of the big issues, immigration and education? People are constantly making claims for what young voters think. Most of the people making those claims have no idea what they actually want. What did you hear in the speech that were kind of dog whistles, to use a cliche of politics, that, that young voters would kind of latch on to and think it's worth getting out and, and registering to vote? Yeah, I think the top issue for young people, like all people, is the economy. Uh, finding a job right now where youth unemployment rates are at a record high, uh, affording college and those who are graduating from college having you know, on average $25,000 worth of debt if they're taking out a student loan. He addressed those issues directly. He talked about both the economy and the affordability of college, making it more affordable. Now he has to take that message to the young people themselves and that's where it will matter. Bill Clinton's speech last night was very well received across all different parts of the Democratic Party. I wonder if um, younger voters for whom Clinton is, a, they weren't necessarily a part of the Clinton years, but maybe they were. Talk to me a little bit about him as a figure within the kind of younger community. Yeah, it's interesting. I think they identify first and foremost with Barack Obama, because he was the one who went out there and said, work with me, join my campaign, volunteer. You know, at, at the end of the day, four years ago, he won the youth vote two to one, but he didn't just win their vote, he won their time and their energy and their commitment to making this change possible that they believed in. I think Clinton, you know, he addressed something that's very relevant to them, and a lot of that had to do with the, the right to vote and these issues where it's being, it's being made harder for students to vote. These are real things they're facing as they try to navigate that process. I think that will go a long way, but I think it'll take the president himself getting out there. Does, does President Obama have their time? You made that crucial distinction. He may get them to pull a lever, yeah. but he, he really needs them to get out there and hustle. Does he have that hustle this time around? You know, the spring and summer have been very different than they were four years ago. You know, we walk onto campus and you, you're not accosted by a clipboard everywhere you turn. Yeah. Um, but it's just starting to pick up. Students are coming back to school. People are starting to pay attention to the elections again. Our registration rates are, are starting to match those of four years ago. And I think that we'll start to see between now and election day that intensity increase. Uh, I think it'll take a lot of hard work. Uh, there's 16 and a half million new voters who are now in the process who need to be registered. Um, but if that hard work s happens, then I believe the youth vote will continue to, to increase. What do you see from your perspective of the ground game? The, the, uh, I've spent a lot of time in the battleground states looking at the ground games of the two parties. It seems like the Obama folks have a better ground game. Is that the way it looks to you? Yeah, we, I just actually rode in the Rock the Vote road trip, our bus, our RV, it's amazing. And we went from Tampa up here to Charlotte. We stopped at campuses all along the way. Um, we talked to students who engaged in these campuses. We ran into a lot more Obama staff in the youth-focused communities. Um, but again, I believe that those, are, those campaigns are just starting to pick up, as the, in particular, as students go back to school. All right, Heather Smith, thank you so much. Thank you very much.